This illustration deals with closed delta systems. And we either have a closed delta or we might have an open delta system. But our figure 4-5 illustrates a closed delta system. Now notice in the illustration showing the windings right above the illustration. Notice that we uh, have a high leg involved. And now when you start measuring as electrician or designer, how many ungrounded hot conductors that you could connect to ground that would be usable for 120 volts and a delta system, as you see, there's only two. When you review A to the uh, neutral connection to ground, 120 volt. If you review C uh, to the connection to ground, 120 volt. But notice when we review B phase, B phase, uh, that uh, voltage goes through a 240 volt winding through 120 to ground. And if we review the other side, the bottom side, we go through 240 to 120. So if we took 120 plus 240 and divided it by the square root of three, 1.732, we would come up with 208 volt. And of course that represents the uh, high leg voltage. Or if we wanted to obtain three phases for motors and so forth, then we would uh, naturally read 240 volt uh, from phase to phase from ungrounded conductor, so to speak, to ungrounded conductor is shown uh, in the illustration. Then notice more information on this high leg uh, can be obtained by reviewing 110.15, uh, 230.56, and 408.3F is in fun one. Now notice though, note two, the sections change just a little. We're still in 250.26, but for this uh, closed delta system, we're looking at item four. But we're still reviewing 250.20b. These two sections work together on this closed delta system uh, as in previous uh, illustrations that we reviewed. But now notice if we just want the three phase output of this transformer, uh, what would L1, L2, and L3 be worth to us connecting into the main, then we would take the 100 kVA transformer, divide it by 240 volts times the square root of three. After we took the 100 kVA and multiplied by 1,000 to obtain VA. So we would have 100,000 VA divided by 416 when the math was done, we'd come up with 240 and decision time. You say, I'm gonna have a 225 amp main and I'm gonna take uh, and protect that conductor at 225 amps, round down. R240.4B, we could round up from 240 to 250 uh, size overcurrent protection device from table 240.6A. But one has to remember, only 240 amps could be used, but you could use all the 240 amps of the conductor chosen if that be the case. So keep this in mind, are you rounding up, are you rounding down, and exactly how many amps do you need, uh, or do you wanna protect the conductor and the system uh, completely? But Figure 4-5 illustrates a closed delta connected system. So we are using three uh, windings in a transformer or individual transformers uh, to obtain a closed delta system.